Hi guys, Tony here from Guitar Made Easy by Tony How are we today? Thank you very much for joining me today. We've got a very interesting lesson. The other day, I was scrolling through YouTube and came across this thing called High Rend, which uh, has kind of went a little crazy over the internet uh, recently. And I have to say, I was absolutely mind-blowing uh, by, by that performance. What a talented guy uh, he is. And I was just in awe of everything that he did. Uh, and I wanted to do... Well, being honest, I just I heard him play the guitar. And like a lot of times when I hear something really nice in guitar, I pick it up myself and I try to imitate it as best I can. Now, uh, Ren is a, an amazing guitarist. And he's using a classical guitar. And he's doing some finger style stuff. Which is admittedly not my forte. I like to use a pick. I like a steel string. So I tried to um, transpose the song into a way that I can play it. Uh, and hopefully it's a little bit accessible, a little bit more accessible. It's not easy, but it is more accessible for um, other players who don't have the same skills as Ren to be able to try and whack this tune out. So what I've done today is I have started with uh, you know the intro before it starts going a little bit mad. And if there's enough interest in the video, then I will cover the rest of the song. Um, and also, I'm happy to do, if there's enough interest, uh, other songs by Ren, like Jenny and Screech, for example. So, uh, if you would like that, make sure you subscribe. And you let me know in the comments. Let me know what you would like, if you'd like the rest of the song. Uh, also, if there's any other Ren songs that you'd like me to try and cover. <coughs> and, again, make them a little bit more accessible for everybody without using so much mad finger style technique. Um, anyways, uh, let's just get right into it. So we're gonna break it down into four little parts. <clears throat> so in the song, um, Rain uses you. This uh, part for D minor. But we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna use the D minor chord here. Now, right, just the open D minor chord. So <clears throat> we put our first finger on uh, the high E string on one. Middle finger on two, and third finger on three, on the B, okay? And we start with this a little bit. Okay. So we're climbing down this chord from the D string. One, two, three, okay? And then when we get to the high E string, we take our finger off, okay? And then we're going to hammer on one, third index finger, and then back off again, like that, right? And then just climb up the rest of the chord. So again, that goes like this. Okay. And then we've got to do this little thing. Like that, okay. So again, our middle finger is already here on the D string. We're going to slide that up to three, back to two, and then zero, right? And then on the D string, two, zero, and then I'm going to use my index finger to bar the G and the B, two, two, and then high E open. Alright, again if you want tabs for this, I'm happy to do that. Again, just see if there's enough interest in the video and I'll happily do that for you. Okay, so, again from the start. Alright, and that's part number one. So part number two goes like this. So it starts off the exact same as part one. And then I'm just gonna make it easy and show you what frets I'm getting here, right? I'm getting three, one, zero, three, two, three, zero, two. Landing on the D there, right? Just climbing up this D minor scale. So again, we're in D minor. And what I do, uh, Ren doesn't do this, I just think it sounds nice, all right? I'm not trying to do anything is work, but 
I like to strum into that, right? Uh, so strum into that three first. Zero. Sorry, three, one, zero, three, two, three, zero, two. And then you start again. All right, and in part three. So part three, again, starts the same. But then we got into this kind of like fast little like, right, which is kind of challenging, right? We go. Now he plays a, a like this on uh, the high E string, which is just a little bit crazy for my fingers and probably you too. Uh, so I've tried to find a different way of playing that, uh, which honest to God, I found it a little bit challenging, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but I'll show you the best way, the easiest way that I found to be able to play that. Um, so we start off with this, uh, six, eight, six, five, four, like that. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my finger on both strings here because that gets me into position to play that lick. And I come into five. And play this, right? I've got five on the high E. Eight, six, five. And then from the bottom, six, five, eight, six. <laughs> like that, right? It is a bit of a um, a challenge, all right? It takes a bit of practice, but you get there eventually. You just need to keep at it. Okay, so uh, then that's part three. We get back in to the, uh, the D minor chord again. And we do this again, right? So again. I'm going to use my middle finger to slide up to four. Five, then three, five in the B, and then again middle finger from four to six, seven, five, seven, oh sorry, five, six, <laughs> all right, like that, and then uh, it starts a little bit with the craziness, so I'm, I am working on that right now, uh, but again I want to make sure there was enough interest before I put myself through uh, the many hours of practice it's going to take. So, uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it's not exactly the uh, the version that Ren's played, but again, that's what I do. I like to take things and turn them into my own way of my, my own style of playing. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. Anyway, guys, again, remember to comment. Let me know if you do want the next part, and I'll be sure to do that for you ASAP. Take it easy, and I'll see you soon.